So I wanted to make a video to help you with tonight's homework. Um, what you're going to need is you're going to need to make sure you have the trigonometric ratios and finding um, missing sides. And you're going to need your calculator because um, trig functions are going to be required to use a calculator. So the lesson today we talked about how we write a ratio based on the angle that we are observing. So we want to remember we of our acronym SOCATOA. So if we're doing sine of Q, that means we need our opposite side and our hypotenuse. So what is the opposite side from this angle Q? It's side 14 over our hypotenuse, which is 50. All right, so let's do cosine of Q. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So that means we need the adjacent side, but we don't know it, and our hypotenuse. So how do we find this missing side of a right triangle if we know Q? So the Pythagorean theorem. So we can say A squared plus B squared, which is 14, is equal to 50 squared. So then in your calculator, 14 squared is 196, and 50 squared is 2,500. And you get a squared is equal to 2,304. And take the square root, and you get a is equal to 48. So back up to this problem cosine is adjacent of over hypotenuse. So you know the adjacent side is 48 over 50 are hypotenuse. Lastly, I'm, that I'm going to help you with is tangent of Q. Tangent is opposite over adjacent. So the opposite side of Q is 14, and the adjacent side is 48. So for home, for, so I'm um, positive that you could go ahead and solve that one. All right, so let's look at number two. A little fuzzy. Okay, so here we have a right triangle. All right, we know this angle, which is 48. We know these two sides is 17, and there's x. So we need to figure out which trig function. So again, we have so, uh, so, uh, and we need to determine which one is going to help us here. All right, so do we have the hypotenuse here? No, we don't, and we can't figure it out because we don't have x. So therefore, sine and cosine are out of the question. So let's see if tangent is going to work. Well, looking at this 48 degrees, do we have the opposite side and the adjacent side? Yep. So we're going to do tangent of 48 degrees is equal to opposite over adjacent. Okay. So to solve for x, we need to get rid of the 17. So it's x divided by 17. So the opposite of division is multiplication. So we're going to multiply both sides by 17. So 17 times tangent of 48 degrees is equal to x. So in your calculator, right, you're going to do 17 times tangent of 48 is equal to. So here's the thing that you also want to do. You want to make sure that your mode, so you're going to click this mode button right there, and you want to make sure that we're in degrees. So I forgot to do that, so go back up, press enter. So do you see how these two things are different? This first one that we did was in radians. And when you take trigonometry, you're going to understand what a radian is. Radians are not the same thing as degrees. So you always want to make sure your calculator is in degrees here, okay? Um, I think with regular four functions that uh, we use in class, we won't have to worry about this. But if you ever use this kind of calculator, you need to make sure you're in a radian. So therefore, x is equal to 18.8, and that's our answer. All right, I'm going to go ahead and continue with the evens. So let's look at this one. So here we have 29 degrees as an angle, a leg is 12. And what is this side called? Our hypotenuse is x. So 
using SOCATOA, we have our hypotenuse, so we need to use either sine or cosine. So, uh, so either sine or cosine because they have the hypotenuse in there. So looking at this angle, what is this 12 leg identified as? Is it adjacent or is it opposite? Well, it's the opposite side. So we're going to use sine. So sine of 29 degrees is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. So when we have our variable in the denominator, it's k, we just do the exact same thing that we did up here. We need to multiply both sides by x. So x times sine of 29 is equal to 12. So sine of 29 degrees is one whole term. So we're going to divide the sine of 29. So x is equal to 12 divided by sine of 29. Okay? So in your calculator, you're going to do sine of 29, oops, oops, sorry, 12 divided by sine of 29. And that means x is equal to 24.8. All right. What I'd like you to do is stop this video and try number six. So you can pause it now. All right, and then when you come back, we'll do, you can check to see if your answer is right. So pause it now. All right, so let's see if you have the answer right. So in this problem, we have 50 degrees and we have two legs. We have the hypotenuse sine side. No, so we can't use sine and cosine. Therefore, we have to use tangent. So tangent of 50 degrees is equal to opposite over adjacent. So 22 over x. x times sine of 58 is equal to 22, and x is equal to 23 divided by tangent of 58. So in your calculator, 22 divided by tangent of 58 is equal to 13.7. So x is equal to 13.7. <coughs> All right, so you can try to finish the ones on the front. I want to go to number 12. That is possibly going to give us a little bit of trouble too. So let's look here. All right, this angle is 90 degrees, and we need to find the net measure of BC. We need to find this measure. So, in able to do so on this triangle, we need to know either this side or this side. Okay, but we don't know them. So is there any way that we can use this triangle here to solve for this side or this side? Well, these two triangles share this side, so we're going to say we're going to solve this for y. So what trig function are we going to use by using this y and 20? So we're using opposite over hypotenuse, so therefore sine of 54 degrees is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. 20 times sine of 54 is equal to y. All right, and y is equal to 20 times sine of 54 is equal to 16, we'll say, is equal to 16. All right. So now we can come back to this triangle to solve for BC. So here we have, what side is this according to this angle? Opposite over adjacent. So we need to use tangent of our angle is equal to opposite over adjacent. X times tangent of 28 is equal to 16. X is equal to 16 divided by tangent of 28. All right. 16 divided by tangent of 28, we get X to be 30. Awesome job. All right. So you can try number 13 and let's go down to 14. Try this together. So a wire is attached on the top of a 30 foot tall telephone pole. The stake on the ground. 
If the angle formed by the wire and the pole is 90 to 48 degrees, what is the length of the wire? So when you have application problems like this, just like Pythagorean, you have to draw a picture. So a wire is attached to a 30-foot pole. So here's the wire, and here's the pole. Pole, wire, all right? How tall is a pole? It's 30 foot, all right? And it says the angle formed by the wire in the pole. So where does a wire and pole meet? They meet up here, which is 48 degrees, and we want to find what W is. We want to find the length of the wire. So we're using, well, this is a right angle. We're using our hypotenuse, and what side is this? Our adjacent side. So cosine of 48 degrees is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. W times cosine of 48 is equal to 30. W is equal to 30 divided by cosine of 48. So 30 divided by cosine of 48. And we get 44.8. All right, so I'd like you to continue on in your homework, um, and I hope this video helped. Thanks.